it is very easy to create LODs in Blender for export to Unreal Engine. So I have this jug as an example. It has several LODs which I've created by just turning down the level of subdivision of the mesh so that we have less and less geometry. Now to export this for Unreal, we need to add an empty. So Shift A, empty, plane axis. I'm just gonna call this uh, SM underscore jug, and I'm gonna call these SM jug LOD 0, 1, 2, and 3. So I'm gonna select these, uh, all these LODs, and then Control click to select the jug, and then I'm gonna hit Control P parent object. And then now if I expand this, I should have an empty with LOD 0 at the top, and then 2, uh, 1, 2, 3. Now we need to tell Unreal that this empty is an LOD group. And to do that, you can go select the empty and then down here under Object Properties, we're gonna add a custom property, select New. If you're in a recent version of Blender, you also need to specify a type for this property. So I'm gonna change this under this little gear icon here, change the setting type uh, from float to string. And I'm gonna call it, uh, call the property name all lowercase fbx underscore type and we'll give it a default value of LOD group okay and if this defaults to one just set it to LOD group enter and that's all the setup we need to do in blender now to export this just select everything and then file export fbx and you want to make sure that two things are set here so the first thing is here on the right object type, make sure that you shift click this to turn on empty. And you also want to make sure that this custom properties checkbox is is turned on. Let's call this SM underscore jug. Right now in Unreal Engine, you can just drag your file in here. And you just want to make sure that under import options, you have import mesh LODs turned on. And since we're using LODs for this object, I'm going to turn Nanite off. Also, if you don't want to import materials, you can just turn this to do not search, do not create material, and then uncheck import textures. That way it imports the FBX only and none of the texture files. All right, let's hit import. And here's our jug. You can see it does have, it does have LODs. However, the LOD sizes are not great. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add custom distances to this LOD setup. So in your static mesh details panel, go to LOD settings and untick auto compute LOD distances, and then search for custom. And then in LOD picker custom, we're gonna tick that on, and that's gonna let us uh, set custom distances for the LODs. Next search for screen, and that's gonna give you the screen percentage that's used uh, sort of to determine the, uh, the LOD distance for each of these LODs. So you can see we have all of our LODs here, zero, one, two, and three. And if you look in the settings here in the top left-hand corner, you can see the LOD that you're currently viewing and also the current screen size. And you can use that to figure out sort of at what distance you want the LODs to shift. So I want to have LOD 1 out to a distance of about that far. So that's 0.29. So let's just say 0.3 is where we're going to do that transition. So we have now you can see we have LOD 0 and then pull back the LOD changes. And then we'll have a change again, maybe at like 0.2 and then maybe 0.1. And now you can see we've got, we've got those distances set up correctly. So we've got our finest LOD. And then as we zoom out, you can see it transitions to LOD one and then LOD two and then LOD three. So that's it. That's the whole process. So it's very easy to, uh, to set up and do.